consume primarily whole grains rather than regular pasta, white rice, and white bread? Hi, I'm Rocio Medina, Vice President of Nutrition Training at Herbalife. Carbohydrates are still a confusing and debated topic. Some people say that they're good for you, while others maintain that they're bad for you. Carbohydrates like fats and proteins are necessary nutrients in your diet. The key thing to remember is that not all carbohydrates are the same, and that the excess of carbohydrates will store in the form of fat tissue. The truth is that there are different types of carbohydrates, which are meant to be used in different situations. Complex carbohydrates, whole wheat bread, whole grain pasta, wild rice, which are used for slow energy release, and simple carbohydrates, which provide rapid energy release. Fiber can also be considered a carbohydrate and can be divided into soluble and insoluble. In order to better understand which carbs are good for us, we can divide them into groups. Starches or complex carbohydrates, sugars or simple carbohydrates, and fiber. Starches or complex carbohydrates are mainly found in fruits, vegetables, and whole grain foods. These are the kinds of carbs you want to eat because they're digested slowly. Remember to have a daily intake of carbohydrates equivalent to 40% of your total calorie intake. Brown rice and whole wheat bread are examples of whole grains that contain carbs we need along with vitamins, minerals, and fiber. White rice and white bread are examples of refined carbohydrates, like starches that had been stripped of their vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Refined carbohydrates and sugars are also digested quickly. These simple carbs can be found in sweets, fizzy drinks, and other refined or processed foods, which we recommend to have a limited intake. Do you stay away from fizzy drinks and typical snack foods throughout the day and after dinner? Let's talk about sugar. Now, say the word sugar, and most people picture the familiar white granular stuff many of us have in a sugar bowl at home. But that's just one form of sugar that we get in our diet. Granulated sugar is called sucrose, which is primarily extracted from sugar cane and sugar beet. Now, there's also sugar naturally found in fruits, called fructose and a naturally occurring sugar in milk called lactose. So when you consume a fruit, a vegetable, a dairy product, you can't avoid consuming the natural sugar that these foods contain. Now, all these forms of sugars are carbohydrates, and they all end up in the bloodstream. They do this in the form of glucose, which is the form of sugar that our body prefers to use for energy. When the sugar is absorbed, so are the nutrients that are included in its food source. But when the food source doesn't have vitamins or minerals, as is the case with sweets, the sugars supply what we call empty calories. Extra calories mean extra weight. Therefore, excess of sugar means extra fat tissue. Now, when we know sugar is a good source of energy, but an excess of sugar has all sorts of side effects. In addition to weight gain, Sugar can contribute to tooth decay, and if you eat a lot of sugary foods, they may be taking the place of other, healthier foods in the diet. So you really want to limit your daily sugar intake, and make sure you're checking the labels, as I know you all are. You have to be careful. Keep healthy snacks around, like whole fruits, cut vegetables, whole grain crackers, low-fat yogurt, and low-fat cheese so you won't be tempted to eat sweets instead. Now, I know you're all staying strong out there, but the truth is that sugar makes food very palatable, so it is not always easy to control the amount we take. Don't worry, there are alternatives to this. It can be a good idea to add oat apple fiber to your Formula One shake every morning to maintain your fiber intake. For some people, eating a smaller protein-balanced meals every two to three hours ensures that you won't crave simple carbohydrates. Now, finding protein-based snacks and meal replacements can be an effort, which is why we at Herbalife have made it our mission to find them for you. We have Herbalife Protein Bar, protein-based snacks, available in chocolate peanut, vanilla almond, 
and citrus lemon, which are a healthy alternative. Or try the Herbalife Meal Replacement Bars, which are a great source of carbohydrates with 8 grams of fiber combined with more than 13 grams of protein per bar. And most importantly, enjoying a Formula One Healthy Meal Nutritional Shake Mix for breakfast or at any time of the day supplies your body with an average of 22 different vitamins, minerals, and fiber, keeping you full of energy. Instead of fruit juices, which tend to be very high in sugar and calories, try aloe mango flavor, which is low in calories and with no added sugars, ideal to add to your water to obtain a refreshing drink. Aloe drink contributes to your daily liquid intake. You can order this or any of the Herbalife products today from an independent Herbalife member.